should be right here, so be ready. A lot of times they'll stop in the brush. You gotta be right on the other end. He's a dead. My first bunny. Good job, Allison. That was exciting. Yeah. That was very exciting. There he is. <laughs> Have more fun. Yeah. <laughs> hey, welcome to Cash and Dinner. I'm Stefan. This is Aaron. Allison's behind the camera. And today we're taking the shotguns out and we're going rabbit hunting. It's really cold right now, it's early December, and single digit, it's pretty, pretty chilly, but it should get warmer later, and uh, the rabbit move early, so we don't have a choice, we gotta get out, and it's perfect day, just had some snow last night, fresh snow, so we should be able to track him pretty good. So hey, let's go hunting. Aaron's never got a rabbit, Allison either. I was lucky enough this year to get two already, so I'm gonna try to film them, hopefully get them onto some rabbit, and uh, make some delicious with it. Let's go hunting. Tracks, tracks dropping everywhere. Look at that. that thing was hanging out last night. Here's the hole. It's been coming in and out. A lot of sign. Just gotta find them. Good start though. Not even five minutes into it and signs everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Rabbit's winning. Right behind me. Well, we did a circle. We followed the running track. He's coming right back to his hole. And uh, that's our track and that's his track and our track. Yeah, on top. Yeah, so. Uh, well, you know, he might have gone right back to his hole, but we'll keep going. So we followed the track for a good half mile and led us right to his rabbit hole. So, uh, close but no cigar. <laughs> he wins this time. Oh yeah, well hey, this is the way it is. Last time I was here, I shot one within like 10 yards from here, in there. So I didn't realize there was a hole here, but now with the snow, pretty easy to tell what's going on. So, hey, we'll find another one. Just picked up a fresh track. Allison looked up and she saw it running right in front of us. So we're gonna try to get on him. Aaron's right there too. So see if we can catch up with him. That's the track. Not far. Let's slow down. Let's give him a minute. Oh yeah. That's a nice one. This thing is this thing's going max speed right that way, so we'll try to go slow so we don't spook him too much. He's running. There, going to the left. Aaron got a shot. Thing went running like a bat out of hell. And uh, I was looking at its hole right in there. I was looking at its hole. It went running on the other side. Aaron had that opening in here. And uh, we'll see if you hit him. I don't think so. No? Let's go take a look. Yeah. See the pellets are right here. Your pellets are right here. And uh, came running right through here, obviously. So you see his run, running. He got right there. So yeah, no blood on the ground. That's his running track right there. It might not be far, so he's going straight up. Jeez. Aaron just saw him go in the hole. But it might not be far. It doesn't look like a regular hole. Should be able to flush him out of there. So uh, be ready. I'm going to kick it. There's a hole. 
in the crack. He squeezes in there like a the little mouse. <laughs> that was a close one. I just put the bark back on but yeah they saw it as they were cresting. They both saw Allison and Aaron both saw him sitting right there. As soon as they saw he saw them boom in its hole. So that was close. Really close. Yeah, right on him. So we just followed this running track. Allison saw it and we just started following it and it's going right into this pipe right here and he's hiding it right in there and it's not a long pipe it's not even 10 feet across so what I'll try to do is uh, I'll push a branch and uh, see if it will flush on the other side so uh, Aaron's ready <laughs> see what happens Allison's ready too so uh, let's see what happens so ready Ready. Allison is just on the other side. I'm about to hopefully flush this thing out. Aaron's ready, but he's gonna go running, so you're gonna have to lead him. So, see what happens. So, I'm pushing this branch through this pipe, and he's gonna be right on the other edge. He's at the edge. Good shot. There you go, Aaron. Good going, that's a nice one. First rabbit. That worked like a charm. <laughs> so, uh, hey, he was uh, not easy to flush out of that hole. Yeah, that was, that was tough, but uh, we Looks saw him like come out and he see. hooked hard to the left and we got him. Aaron yeah. did a perfect shot, good job. He hopped out fast and furious and a couple seconds later we have uh, First rabbit on the ground yeah. this morning. And you did a great shot, perfect great head headshot. Shot. I mean, just headshotted it literally. And uh, yeah, couldn't be a happier for you. That's awesome. The meat's going to be perfect. Yep. Absolutely. Not a single pellet in that meat. And Aaron, just like that, got his first rabbit. Yeah. And he had the shot earlier, it was close. We, you know, we almost sealed the deal there. So we'll keep going. Day's still early. Hopefully, we can uh, put something more in our uh, game bag and make a nice meal. So uh, let's check out a different spot. Just shot my first bunny. I mean, that was crazy. We've been chasing this bunny. We've been following his tracks this way, that way. Saw his head right there over that brush. Stefan actually told me there he is. I didn't see him, but I, I, had, a head, I had his head shot. Let's go see if I did a good head shot. Yeah. The craziest thing is that we went back to the truck to drop the other rabbit and uh, there's a fresh rabbit track there. So we went after him and we kept seeing him. And uh, here you are, a little ways later. And there he lays. Good job, Allison. That was exciting. Yeah. That was very exciting. Perseverance paid off on yeah. this one. Good head shot. Nice. Right in the nose. Shot him right through his head. Yeah. Nice bunny. Yeah, nice fat one. My first bunny. I, I've gone bunny hunting quite a few times. Never got a shot on one. And uh, well, this is the first shot I took on one. And I got him. Yeah. Well, Great. congratulations. Thank you. And uh, Aaron got his bunny earlier. Yeah. So, mission accomplished, yes. really. That was the goal, is to get these two on some bunnies. And sure enough, awesome. uh, my, my GoPro's dead. All the batteries are dying. We're left with Aaron's phone. And uh, he had it in his pocket. And we don't have time to take it out for Allison to, to get on camera. But guess what? Doesn't matter. Awesome. We're headed out, to just taking a picture of Allison's bunny, and then I'm just looking over there, and there's a bunny in the middle. And then uh, by the time we got ready, it was just a little too far, so we're gonna go after him. But this is crazy. <laughs> That'd be awesome. This is the best bunny action I've ever seen. <laughs> we found the mother load. This is awesome. Yeah. Well, let's go after him. Hey, that was a big bunny too. I wish I got it on camera, but. He went hopping, I was trying to turn the camera back on. He's not far though. If we go slow, he was standing right in the middle there. And he just did a couple of hops to the left. Go really slow. Yeah, you went run. 
right on their defense. So what do you think, Aaron? Are you gonna do it again? That was a lot of fun. We've been uh, been on rabbits all morning, so I have pretty high expectations for next time. <laughs> oh, <boy. You're> right? <laughs> There's gonna be a bunny snob. <laughs> now I've been rabbit hunting a bunch of times before and never got one, so I'm pretty excited that I was able to harvest my first rabbit. Can't wait to cook them up. I said, there's no way I'm gonna shoot a running rabbit, but luckily we caught up to this one. It was stopped, Stefan spotted it, so it's right there in front of me. Just had a perfect headshot, went right down. It's pretty awesome. I yeah. couldn't be happier. Yeah, congratulations. I didn't have my GoPro, it was so cold this morning, all the batteries died. I had the big camera, the GoPro, they both croaked. And then uh, thank goodness for Aaron's phone, otherwise we wouldn't have much going on here. So, uh, and he's got a great phone, that is, this thing is recording great. So uh, it worked out, but we couldn't get a shot on camera. So yeah, we're gonna cook these up and uh, it's gonna be awesome. So we'll see you in the kitchen. Ow -ah! Made it back home. We're cleaning up the rabbits. I did Allison's, some beautiful back strap. Look at that neat. And uh, front shoulders, got a little, little hit. But uh, this guy shouldn't be as bad. So let me just show you how we do this. Now we're gonna do rabbit cacciatore. So we want chunks, so the back strap, instead of just peeling them right off and filling them off, I'm gonna keep the bone in. Because of that, we're gonna have to gut the rabbit. Usually, if we don't do this recipe, I've done fajitas last time. All I do, I do the gutless method, really. I don't even mess with the gut and just strip the fillets right off. But this time, we're doing cacciatore. So we gotta chunk it off, just cut the head off. Now, the beauty with rabbit is that the, the skin peels right off and uh, it is beauty because it makes it very easy. Look at that. Look at this beautiful meat. And uh, it is amazing eating. Love rabbit. Favorite small game of mine. Especially uh, cantail, really. And uh, you'll see. So all I'm doing is just peeling the fur right off, really. Nothing to it. Peel the front, peel the back. And that literally comes right off. There's no effort involved here. Really, really easy. Comes right off to the front. Peel that. Go down to the bottom. There we go. Just like that. They're uh, really super easy to clean. You just get the mess off of it. It's good to do this outside because they can have fleas. Most of them do. Hey, look at that. Nice amount of fat there on the back. Just come get that off. Now for the front, all I'm gonna do is just break the uh, the front off and just cut it like this. Whoop. Careful. <laughs> Same deal there. Just go by the tendons, go under. Good sharp knife. Bingo. The back. We're gonna cut that off too. Now Aaron. Just said that you'd like to keep it as a souvenir there. So we're gonna snap the bone. There we go. That's your rabbit foot right there for your lucky hunt next time. And that same here, snap, snap. And bingo, easy. So now what we have is basically a, a skinned out rabbit. Like I said, it's pretty easy. Once we put it underwater, it's even easier. But that's what it looks like. There's a lot of meat on these little buggers. Look at that. Look at the back strap. That's tons of meat. Look at the back, how muscular these things are. This thing, we're following it. At some point, it had to be at least nine feet. This thing jumped from one spot to another nine feet straight. So they're, they're serious sprinters, to say the least. So uh, the next step, I'll just cut the hind quarter. It'll be easy. Put it that way. There we go. Now we're gonna snap this in half for a recipe. So try not to, so just go by the inside of the hip, both sides. That's the inside of the hip, ball and socket there. So just cut around it right there, free it up. Go like this, cut from the back, like that. Pop it a little more, there we go. And then uh, should uh, cut pretty easy that way. That's. One beautiful quarter right here. Next one, yeah, we'll do the same. Just kind of follow the inside of the hip bone right there. 
Yeah. You need the sharp knife is important. Yeah, just like that. There we go. We'll rinse it out. Be beautiful meat. Now, front quarters, pretty easy. Just follow the rib cage, just like that. And uh, nothing to it again. Just like this. Front quarter. The other side. More of the same. Follow the rib cage a little bit, all the way to the top. Peels right off. Get a little bit of the fur off. And again, we'll rinse it out. It'll be perfect. That's our meat right there. Almost like a frog leg here. And then, for those beautiful back strap, it's just easier to uh, to gut it. So we're gonna have to gut it. I'm gonna go like this, grab the inside, all the innards, pull it out like that. Inside here, inside there. The rib cage, we're, gonna get, we're not gonna keep. So you can use shears, makes it a little easier. Or just your knife will do it too. So just kinda follow this, that's not really neat per se. So we try to keep it close to the, the spine here. That's it. Repeat on the other side. And we're gonna be left with some beautiful meat. Just like that. These are not the best shears, I have to say. They'll do, because again, rabbit are not too tough, but. Cut here, we've got the lungs, and all that good stuff. We don't need that. There we are. Left some beautiful back strap. For a recipe, like I said, we'll want to chunk it. So take your knife, get some of that fur off, and uh, we're ready. Just gonna cut it right there. Good half. That's it. And we're gonna rinse it out, but yeah, beautiful meat. Look at that. <laughs> That's some serious meat. Look at that, how beautiful it is. So uh, that's the yield from our two cottontails. Quite a bit of meat, really. So uh, we're gonna go rinse it out and we'll get ready for the recipe. It's gonna be awesome. You don't wanna miss it. See you inside. So this here is mine and Aaron's rabbit from earlier this morning. Stefan prepped it beautifully. And we had a rabbit that Stefan harvested last weekend to add to it. We're gonna make rabbit cacciatore. It's gonna be delicious. I'm gonna show you step by step how we prepare this dish. And the first step is to salt and pepper these pieces. Now we have three tablespoons of fresh thyme. I'm just gonna rub some of this thyme into each piece. The meat looks phenomenal. Rabbit, especially cottontail, just such beautiful meat. Almost looks like chicken, really. Next, we're gonna sprinkle each piece with flour. So we're prepping the pan, put some olive oil in our skillet, getting it nice and hot. And as soon as it's ready, we're gonna put those rabbit pieces in and brown them up. So we're gonna let that meat brown for about three minutes, and then we're gonna torch it and let the other side brown for about three minutes more. Scrumptious. Next step is browning the onions. We're going to brown the onions a little bit longer than the rest of the veggies, so I'm going to get all the onions in first. We reduce the heat to medium, put our onions in the pan, and we're giving them about a minute before we add our other vegetables, and it is smelling delicious. Oh my goodness, I wish you could smell this. We're adding in our peppers, and our mushrooms. Now we're gonna add our rosemary, and stir that around. So 
So we sauteed our veggies. Now we're gonna add our rabbit back to the pan with the veggies. We have some delicious white wine. We're gonna add a little bit of that into the pan. We're gonna raise the heat and let that wine bubble and we're gonna reduce it to about half. And I'm gonna add some parsley. So it looks like our wine reduced like we wanted it to by about half. And we're putting some canned tomatoes right in there just like that. So we decided to add a little bit more tomato because we did have some extra rabbit in this recipe. So you saw we added our bay leaf, we covered up the pot, we reduced the heat, and now the next step is to let it cook. It's gonna cook for an hour, maybe even more. If this was a farmed rabbit, we would check it in about 40 minutes. But because it's a wild rabbit, we know it's probably gonna take a little bit longer. We'll let it go for about an hour, then we'll check it. And what we want to see is for it to be tender and basically falling right off the bone. But man, take a look at that. So yeah, we were right because it's wild game. It took a little bit longer. It's been even a little over two hours now, but look at this. We just checked it and we had to taste it. This meat is just falling off the bone tender and it is so delicious. Wow. It's so sweet. It's just really unbelievable. Rabbit is absolutely phenomenal meat. Yes, it's it is. delicious. So now that the meat is nice and tender, the last step is to add our beautiful olives, green and black, and we're gonna let some of that fluid reduce down so it's not so liquidy. Mix these nice olives in. Cacciatore, baby. Holy rabbit cacciatore. <laughs> we are in for a treat. Yes, we are. So as the fluids are reducing, we want to make sure that the flavor is good. So I'm just going to taste it and I'm going to see if it needs any more seasoning. Some salt, some pepper. Wow, the flavors are phenomenal. This has been cooking for two hours and all those flavors have just melded together. I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to finish it off, let it reduce down a little bit more, put the pasta up and we are almost ready to eat. So we've been reducing the liquid in the cacciatore and it is looking amazing. We just put some fettuccine nests up to boil that we're gonna serve the cacciatore on top of. So look who arrived, it's Charissa and Erin. Hello. Made it. <laughs> it smells delicious. Yeah. There you go. Look at this. Woo hey. Well, again, we're letting the guest of honors go first. Let us know what they think. That's really good. It's really, really good. Yeah, that's fantastic. The meat's just a little bit sweet, but uh, it's a good sweet. And so the whole combination is awesome. You, you could have tricked me again if you told me it was chicken. Yeah. I know. <laughs> it does It does kind of taste like chicken, but really nominal. meaty and just... Uh, yeah, yeah. It's also maybe flavorful. a little richer like, than chicken. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's just, just more flavored for quality. sure. And it's even better when you work hard for it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I just added a little bit of a crushed red, and we have a little bit of parsley too as garnish. We just added that at the end. But yeah, you gotta add a little heat. You know, it's Italian, and cacciatore is obviously Italian, and it means hunter in Italian. So what better fit than rabbit cacciatore? So let me dig in. I tasted some of the meat earlier, so I had a little preview, and it was, you know, beyond great. It was amazing. But simmered a little more. Yeah, super. Not only they're fun to go after, but they're great eating. What combination, you know, winning combination. Hard to beat. And it's a great time, really, especially on a day like today with fresh snow. We had five different rabbit that were runners. Like, you could tell they're in front of us. We caught up with two, which is pretty good. 
And then we had a lot of action really for just a few hours in the morning. So what an amazing day. Now I'm gonna have Allison taste it and see what she thinks since, uh, yeah, she got one of those rabbit. So let's see what she thinks. Well, I've been smelling this cook for a few hours and this is the moment that I've been waiting for. Look at this delicious meat yeah, it's and all these flavors. I don't think you can beat the hatchetori with the olives and the peppers and the onions. We threw some mushrooms in there. Yeah. And simmered down like that. You just can't beat mm. it. And the sweetness of the meat. Yep. It's just perfect. Well, after you got your first rabbit, you're unstoppable. We saw another one and you just, we couldn't hold you back. I mean, <laughs> she was ready to shoot another one. It's exciting. Yes, it is. Hunting is very exciting. And great exercise, great fun. Yeah. Great to be in the outdoors. Great to share it with awesome people. Yeah. And then to come home and get to put together a phenomenal meal like this. Yeah. How can you beat it? I can't think of anything better. She's hooked now. I mean, I'm, I'm <laughs> so, hooked on hunting. We'll be chasing bunnies and especially these cuntails. They're phenomenal. We'll be definitely going back this winter and uh, yeah. making more memories. Yeah. That's for sure. You need to do a morning rabbit hunt and an afternoon ice fish. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Surf and turf. Surf and turf, yeah, Colorado, Colorado style. style. All this rabbit meat is good to the bone. These cocktails are no joke. I mean, I'm, it's finger licking good. And really, it's falling right off the bone. Look at that. Peels right off. And if you've never had cocktail, these things are the real deal. For a small game, you can't beat them. They're fun to go after, as you saw today. And they taste great, really my favorite. And cook like this, cacciatore, is unbelievable. Hope you get to try it. Hope you get outdoors. Catch up with some cocktails because they're a lot of fun. So thank you so much for coming along. Thank you so much for subscribing, liking our videos. It really means a lot to us because it really helps with uh, YouTube for more people to get to see it. And then uh, we appreciate that and more people get to hopefully get excited about making their own venture. Till next time, we're out. I feel really blessed that Aaron and Allison were able to get their first rabbit. What a special day. That's all I gotta say. And uh, we're eating well again. <laughs>